the hubbies. There she is. Uh, I, uh, I struggled with this one just a tiny bit, but I love the end result. And that's the, the most important thing. So I, uh, I started out with a photograph and I, my purpose was to kind of show you that you can use a photograph to help inspire your um, creation or your creating and that's exactly what it did. Um, so I started out with a bunch of vintage papers, vintage wallpapers and while there's a lot of layers on here they still show up. It, it, that's, I love that. That's the magic of having papers underneath. Um, all these little bits and pieces are there and just create this incredible depth in your work. So I started with vintage papers, put everything down with um, matte medium and then um, trying to think how I what the process was. Um, and then just really wanted to be free with my paint and just get some paint down. And I worked, tr tried to work within the color palette so this kind of gray blue is what kind of inspired the main color of this whole thing is the gray blue in the background of the photo. And then um, some of that yellow kind of seeped out and these corners really gave me a run for my money. I loved the color but it just didn't make sense and it felt awkward and um, so I, I went back over it and pulled it back out. I used a stencil over the top to kind of pull out that color again. Um, I used my charcoal pencil to really draw my vines out um, and I if you want a really sketchy look with your you know charcoal drawings if you hold your pencil at the end of, or hold your pencil at the very end um, you have less control and you can kind of um, draw some really beautiful sketchy lines which, which is what I wanted. Um, I used a lot of stencils um, just to kind of get some um, interest and some other things happening and they all still show through here and there. I used a lot of just kind of random drawing. I used my non-dominant hand. Um, trying to think of the stencils. I used Kindness is Free for here. I used Doodle <laughs> Circles to kind of pull back the paint. I used the this flower down here to try and make sense of these corners which I didn't really like <laughs> and then I used um, garden to help create some of the vines because uh, it gave me an idea of how it would look and where where I could go with it um, I used these um, roundabouts and um, <clears throat> scribbles for the backgrounds and I think that's all. I just worked to try and be loose and free and have the background be really, really kind of deep. And um, I've got these butterflies down here. I've got a couple of uh, vintage book pages in here that it says affirm the ephemera, an emblem of human life. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Love that. So that had to go in. It all was this inspiration from this, this photograph. Um, and for the just the lightness and summer and all of that kind of thing that's kind of where I was going with this and then my phrase here is kindness is free and it's one of my most favorite um, phrases or sayings or whatever um, because sometimes we as humans don't have a lot to give um, monetarily sometimes we're super busy so we don't have a lot of time to give and things like that but kindness is always free we can always be kind and today nowadays it's it seems like kindness is out the window that no one has a courtesy for people um, for just saying hello or thank you or looking you in the eye like when nowadays when I go to the grocery store and I, now I'm gonna sound old I'm gonna sound like my mom when I go to the grocery store um, and I check out people don't even look you in the eye anymore they don't say thank you they don't say have a good day and you know I try to say all of those kinds of things because you never know um, what one word will say or how that will make a difference in someone's life and so that's why I chose this because I had a lot of ex lot of things this last week when 
um, was out and about where I was like, gosh, it's like I wasn't even there. Like nobody even acknowledged me and, you know, I'm going through the checkout line or whatever and not nothing, absolutely no acknowledgement. And I think so many times we all feel like we're just not there and we can be invisible. And with everything being online and that kind of thing, um, you don't really know, you don't get to see people or know people. And so sometimes one kind word will make all the difference. I know it makes a difference to me. Um, I've had, I used to work um, in retail and I can remember being super busy at my job and having and stopping and acknowledging a customer or something like that. And then they open up and tell me, this story of why they're there and what they're searching for. It's a funeral, it's this, it's a birthday. And you have this connection that we just are losing sometimes today. And kindness can be that bridge. Um, just a single kind word, an acknowledgement, a hello, can um, change somebody's day. I know it does for me. Um, so that is my word for today. My friends, kindness is free. We need kindness. We need to be kind to ourselves and acknowledge ourselves and acknowledge others throughout the day and um, just be present with people. Oh my goodness, it's just so hard sometimes these days. All right, loves, I hope your Sunday is awesome. I hope it is restful. I hope it's filled with kindness and that you are able to connect and um, reach out and say a kind word to yourself and to others. All right, have a wonderful Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.